Good afternoon, guys. Uh, this is Paul. Uh, I am the page creator of Bridge End War and Board Gaming. Um, I know quite a lot of you guys already. Uh, a few of you I probably don't know. I mainly play Castle Gamers on a Sunday, and obviously on a Tuesday night there's a Bring Kethin Board Gaming Club as well. So during these crazy times, I thought I would start to put together some videos. Obviously, we do the work in progress Wednesday, which people seem to have taken board quite well. Uh, please feel free to continue to put your figures that you're painting and that you're working on there. That would be marvellous. Uh, everyone seems to be enjoying that, and it is really good to see what people are up to. And I think when we've got people playing games and doing their hobby, it's just a nice thing to talk about with all the craziness that's going on in the news at the moment. So... I thought, obviously, we do war, game, uh, war games and board games. Um, just so you know, these videos are no way professional. I'm literally doing this with my phone. And uh, I just thought I would go through a few of the games uh, that I've played and that I've enjoyed. This particular game is called Terraforming Mars, uh, which probably quite a few of you have seen before. Um, it scored 8.4 on Board Game Geek. It is a game that I have played fairly recently with uh, Jared, uh, who is also a member of the group, and he mainly plays at Castle Gamers. He has a vast collection of board games, and this is one that he picked up. So due to actually quite enjoying it, I thought I would pick it up also. The actual game um, is literally what it's, it says on the tin, so we are going to be terraforming Mars. This video I thought I'd just do so you could see it, and it is also a solo game. So if you don't have anybody to play with in your home at the moment, due to the isolation, uh, this might be a good one to pick up and have a go with. Um, so, as you can see, quite a nice cover on the front. Stronghold Games, uh, Fryx Games, Frax Games, whichever you fancy. Um, due to the fact it's scored so high on Board Game Geek, probably says quite a few things about it. Um, it's a vast game. It normally retails for about £50, I think. Um, I was quite lucky I picked this one up on eBay. Uh, it had like a slightly damaged corner over here, uh, which is almost non-existent, to be totally honest. And I think I only paid 30 so I can't really moan at that. Um, so if we just whiz it round the back, you can generally see what's going on. Uh, you've got the uh, playing area. Um, you have a vast selection of cards. This game comes with many, many cards, as you will see as we uh, crack it open in a moment. Um, you have these cool playing tiles, and you have loads of random little blocks which uh, are colour-coordinated, but they are also very useful for tracking what's going on, obviously. Um, and that's kind of it for this game. So let's uh, let's grab a knife, be, be safe with knives, everyone, and we're going to pop it open and see what we're going to get. Okay, uh, so we're just going to pop it open. Fortunately, the damaged corner's not too bad at all, so happy with that. Just a bit of tape will keep that nice and safe. Um, okay, so in our set, we get quite a lot going on, actually. Um, I think it's probably best to just pop that there for now. Uh, right, so we've got a stack of cards, quite a big stack there. Another, oh, hello you. Another stack of cards. Uh, I've got more cubes than I could wave a stick at, which is really cool. Um, we've got, obviously, the rules booklet, uh, which we'll have a little look at there. So the rules booklet, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, it comes with bags, which is always quite nice when you've got to put all the little bits in it. Um, Oh, you can also get this on Steam for all you people that are talking about playing stuff at home. Marvellous. Uh, so these are the actual player cards. Uh, so let's just pop those out and have a quick look. God, that's a tight fit. Um, so that kind of gives you what's going on. Uh, so you've got like a currency. You've got different um, sections of resources. So this is like steel and iron, I think. Um, the star is like a space thing, I think, when we played before. Uh, you've got vegetation, you have energy and temperature, which are all quite important in the game. And you get one of those for all the players. Uh, this game is a one, two, five players, I believe. 
Um, yeah, one to five players. So the one is the interesting part. Um, then you get your playing board, which looks just like this. Let's move that to the side for now. So you get your playing board, which is quite cool. Um, I must admit, when I first saw this game, I thought the board would be bigger than it actually is. Um, as you can see, it is relatively small. Uh, it's quite difficult to get in the, the camera angle for that. Um, it is relatively small. But as you can see, it basically has Mars and different sections on it. Um, it has a tracker for your temperature, which is this section up here. Um, and it also has a oxygen tracker, which is the one that runs across the top. And there is also a counter around the edge, which is the one that you use to track who's winning the game, which is very good. Let's put this back in there. There we go. So that is that. Okay. So we also get inside the box, the box is quite cool, it's, it's even Mars-like inside the box to be honest, so if boxes excite you, there it is, there we go. And so here we have some of the um, tokens and little icons that you'll place on Mars. Uh, so once again you have different resource areas that you can take, uh, who the first player is, which is this one here. Uh, there's the water section, so when you start irrigating and things like that. Uh, there's also a cities, so obviously Mars wouldn't be a great place to live unless he had cities where you could deliver things to and people could live on. And then obviously you've got the forests, which are all required to make sure that oxygen starts moving around the planet. So this is actually quite an interesting one. Um, when you look at it, there's not a lot going on in actual components. So it is literally two packs of cards. There's about 200 cards in this set. You've then got uh, the different blocks. So these are the different colored blocks uh, for the different levels of currency. So uh, I believe it was 10, five and individual ones, uh, which you use to basically have the players have their currency. And then you get different um, colors for each player. So obviously this, this box set is for five players, so you get five different colours. Uh, so we've got green, red, blue, yellow, and like a smoky grey quartzy colour. Uh, you also get some trackers, so these are used to track as you go around um, the game, and they also track, I think, the different... Oh, where, where basically how much oxygen you've developed and how much temperature and such like you are creating to make Mars a habitable world. So that is the game Terraforming Mars and what you get in it. Um, I must admit when I saw it, I wasn't that impressed with the actual look of the game. I thought the board would be a bit cooler. Um, but having played it, it is very, very good. Um, the idea of the game is that you would have these cards and, and the cards are basically pat, uh, patents that have come up and um, we'll just cut the cards in now, quick look. So the patents that have come up and each card will have a kind of purchasing cost. So for instance, um, if we look at farming, it costs 16 of the credits in the game. Um, it will tell you obviously what you get from it. So we'll have some more plants and that kind of thing. And it also scores victory points if you do it. So obviously when you're at the end of the game, people are familiar with things like Ticket to Ride um, and other such games where you do a, you basically add up the victory points at the end. Quite a few games are doing that at the moment. Uh, so this would be ideal for that. So dust seals, urbanized areas, to name just a few. There's also some little tricksy things you can do where you can sabotage people and uh, Hire raiders. I have sent people across to other other uh, Martian colonies to go and steal their stuff. This card will allow you to do that. So there is an absolute huge amount of cards in this game, um, which I think is what makes it so diverse. Um, you will also get there's an easy way to play. Sorry, where you will um, have a, like a starting corporation, um, but there are other corporations as well that you can get. Uh, so the beginner corporations, it's a standard game for people that are unfamiliar with it. Uh, they're quite a good way to start out. Um, 
there's obviously information and scoring and, and helpful cards like that as well. Um, and then you actually have proper corporations that you can use. So when you get a bit more hardcore into the game, this would help you out. Um, and they also have a slightly different flavour for each one, which is quite handy and quite helpful if, you, uh, if you're going to enjoy that. So that is the general unboxing of Terraforming Mars. There wasn't much to unbox in this, to be honest. Um, but as I say, the gameplay itself is far better than what it looks like in the contents of the box. Um, it runs very well and is definitely worth having a look at a bit closer. Um, and I say, if you can pick it up for a bargain, then it's well worth having. There's quite a few expansions. I believe there's five expansions for this game um, during different periods of time and things like that. So you, if you did get bored, it would be quite easy to then expand it some more and, and get some more use out of it. But I think actually it would take quite a while to do that. Um, and that's kind of it really, guys. So that was my first little video. It is for, as I said, Terraforming Mars. Um, I would probably recommend it. I would score it myself probably a good 7.5 out of 10. Um, it's not my, my favourite game, but I did really enjoy the first game I played of it. Um, and I think the guys that are all playing enjoyed it as well. I think we played with five, so it was a full, full set of gamers for that one. Um, and that's it. So everybody just stay safe. And I'll be doing a few more videos. Hopefully you didn't detest this one. <laughs> And uh, I hope to see you all soon when all this craziness is all over. And uh, I will speak to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.